folks, in today's video, I'm going to be visiting the National Museum of Transportation in St. Louis, Missouri. Now, this is um, a museum. It's um, a history museum to show you the um, history of um, how transportation changed over time. Right here is the uh, Valhalla, I think it's called. Um, these wheels don't spin on it, however. You can also sit in the seat, too. I think I could sit on the seat. Guys, my grandma's about to take a picture of me on this um thing. Okay, let's get off this thing. <sighs> Here's the second one. This thing doesn't even have um. But this thing um, you can actually lift this coupling thing up. Now here's the signals. This is um crossing number one. This is um there's um a neighborhood behind us. This is the first signal. Here's the base. Here's the um, gate box, here's the gate. There's the bell, here are the lights. They're, I think they're LEDs or maybe incandescents. I think they're LEDs and there's the bell. Same setup on the same signal. On this signal, this is on a different signal, however. This is um, same signal, same base, same light, same gate, same bell. Plus also there's um, some geese here. Here is, um, here's an airplane. It's a St. Louis Air Force one. And, um, that's pretty cool. Have it at the museum. I think this was, like, yep, it's the shooting star. I'm just following the geese. And onto this tow truck. This is an old abandoned tow truck, it looks like, but... Maybe they just left it out here the rot. Also have them. Um, this is um. This is like um. This is a pretty cool um tow truck. I have it at the museum, and um. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. Tow truck. Looks pretty nice. It actually, um, these tires, I kind of like it. It's, um, it's one of these older style tow trucks. As you can see, it's, like, left out here the rust. They have to make it rust because they, like, have a story where, like, like, he came out the fish and then, like, he forgot his, like, fishing rod and he didn't, like, want to drive home and then, like, he died. Now over here, let's take a look at this Navy plane before we get over there and get my the tickets to, to get the before we go in the main entrance of the museum. Here's um, this is I think this is the newest, even it's the newest piece of um equipment here. It might be the newest piece of equipment. Not gonna lie, but. It's, it's in terrible condition. I mean, it is in good shape, but their their cosmetic weir storing it is um two 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 um Navy Hornet. This is um a big, big, huge plane. I'm gonna take a picture of it. All right. Oh my God, that is a big front of the plane. I think that. Also, it's the f a plane that appeared in the movie Planes. Right, my guys, I picked a very good day to come here, not gonna lie. Car! Woo! Okay, we're gonna go somewhere up there. Okay, now we're gonna drive over there. As I thought I ended the recording there. Here's a better look at the Hornet. It's pretty cool. Looks like a pretty futuristic plane. That's my uncle. He doesn't mess around. Okay, on to the steam rollers. Oh, if you've seen my last video, this is where I started. Basically, here it is. First one we're going to take a look out at is this steam roller. This one, um, I don't know what it is. Um, 
what is this? Okay, it says um, shop number 14073, the Buffalo Springfield Roller Company, Springfield, Ohio, USA. Okay, here's some a build a steam roller because I can't even hear out of my own ears now. My grandma put my hat on. She doesn't. Oh no, let's put the hat back on. It's got more feeling. Okay. Here's on my Buddha steam ruler. This one. All of the wires are cut, as you guys can see. Here's the giant wheel. Also, you can get a glance inside of the steam ruler's cab, just at the right height. And that free train steam whistle. Still up there, just chilling. Also, something cool for all your you people who want to see what... Here's the boiler of it. Um, let's put my flashlight on. Oh, there it is. The inside of the steam roller. There's a sign that says for the safe for the safety and protection of the artifacts, please don't climb on them. Okay. Right here's another steam roller. You can also get a glance inside of its cab too, which is nice. Here's the firebox. You got a glance inside of its cap, just at the right height. This is also another um, Buffalo Springfield Roller Company steam roller, which is cool. This giant train. And I, I thought last time I saw a whistle on that, but that's not a whistle. That is a safety valve, my friend. But I could be wrong. Now on to the Rock Island Aero Train. Aero Train number three at that. This engine has been preser preserved. Pretty nice. I think there's one. I don't know what state it's in, but I know there's another one somewhere, number two. And um, you could also ring the bell of it. Let's put my phone too a bit far back so it doesn't obliterate the speakers. <laughs> It looks nice, and the train, it looks, it looks awesome. The engine looks pretty awesome, too. Um, plus, I also have the, the coaches. Here's on number three, the locomotive. I think they said that, I think this thing is a huge flop. This thing was a huge flop back in the day. Here are the coaches. Also, there's a, a cargo compartment in there. Here's another. This is um, coach number 14. And the last coach on the Rock Island Aero Train. Which is um, Rock Island number 27. I've actually watched a video of this coach. And, um, yeah, the back of this coach is in terrible condition. I must, I want to... Show them the rail bus. Here's the um, rail bus. And more than one of these at the museum. Here's the um, info of this. This um, this is number um, was built back in 1947. And this is uh, six identical motor buses like this one. Oh, in 19, or in early 1923, this one was donated to the museum in 1962, so, yeah, this one's pretty old. Here's the, um, they store the miniature train, and last thing back here, here's this, um, Missouri Pacific caboose. Also, there's, um, um, a C.P. Huntington miniature train replica. Now let's actually get to the point what we were doing here. Let's rock all the way to the front of the aero train. Here are the tracks. And also there's um there are the signals for the sit crossing. Last one to the last one to the front of the aero train is rod and egg. Drag is rod and egg. We did it. Oh, we made it. Oh, there it is.
take it's too much driver. We have to come back tomorrow. We'll just pull the tax a little bit. Uh, we'll yep. Now you're gonna have to stay back. Okay, we're gonna go inside and get our or tickets, bracelets, whatever you want to call it. It's so also got a good look at the Wabash Kaboo. Which means it's not open. Unfortunately, it's not open today. Which is kind of sad, but... It's still going to be a fun day after all, but... Yeah, you can't get inside of it today. Sorry. Here we go. Okay, we are going far and back over here to the um uh, cro to the uh, main entrance of the building, and um right here they have um a bell which you can ring and also a steam whistle you can toot toot toot. It's the bell. And the steam whistle. Here's some nature scale model of the 1522. Okay, now we're gonna go inside. Grandma's gonna go get our tickets for the museum. McDonnell exhibit. Okay, here's the um, box car boutique. This is the gift shop. Okay, also, um, got some where I go builds you can build. Big boy, that's not even a big boy, first of all. They also have some wooden toy trains. Also, there's some other things, some transportation museum merch, such as these bouncy balls. Plus, they also have some Union Pacific big boy merch, but I, I, I don't see them. The big boy merch in here. Actually, they do have Union Pacific big boy shirts in here. They have um, Union Pacific big boy 406 merch. It's where you can go get your merch. This place is empty. Like, which are we empty? Dang, this place is empty. Guys, there's no more cars in this building, unfortunately. But I think they're in the car place. Here's a mural, mural of the uh, Union Pacific Big Boy 406 we're going to get to. And look, they still have the trains up. Let's press the, press the button. Here's the train. Thomas is broken. Thomas is broken. Thomas is broken, but... Here comes this one. Oh, and here's the, um... Oldest surviving um coach. I think it's actually um a two thousand years old. I think this caboose is two thousand years old. Obviously, this is a big this is a big um coach. Now on to the Virgin Hyperloop. This thing can take um passengers about one kilometer. Oh, and here's um, a view of the outside. Here's them trolleys and ever pictures of other things. What? My grandma is putting my um is putting my um bracelets on. Here's the first thing ever donated to the museum. This is um this is a um this is a um this is a um this is um, the first thing donated, it's a mule car. Go on the museum's website, it's the first thing donated, which is nice. Here are the um, model trains. It's got a good, a good look at the way out, way out they have. Looks like it's being pulled by a 242 engine. Hauling a Frisco train. Unfortunately, Thomas is not running, but let's go to Bayard's Landing. Let's go to Bayard's Landing. Oh, this is Bayard's Landing. 
They have some model cars, some and some other things you can buy. They sell it this place. And also here's some rock. It's like a rock truck. Wow. Indoor. There she goes. Ugh. Now we are now outside of the main building. And um Oh Grandma just put my hat on. Transportation station. The train's not running today, but that's okay. This is um the um I forgot what it's called, um Garden. Pollinator Junction. Pollinator Junction Garden. Here's a, one of the cr crappier signals at the museum. Like this place is so empty today. Like I feel like there's no one here. I'm like I feel like I'm the only one here. One of the more ca crappier signals. This is the exact same signal I got yelled at by somebody who looked like Queen Elizabeth. The signals are about the same size. Also, we were back there at one point. Oh, also they, they got um this steam locomotion bell. Steam loco bell. I don't know what this was off of, but I would guess a steam engine. It rings on its own sometimes. Here's the storybook trail. Okay, now we're going. We're going all the way. We're up and back on the other side of the um of the Merchant's Bridge sign. Right here's the Merch St. Louis Merchant's Bridge sign. The sign. I think it'll tell me how much this thing weighs. It's like made out of all metal. Um um, it was replaced in 2022. This is the original sign. There goes my uncle. Here comes my uncle. My uncle. If you don't know, I do have an uncle, by the way. Here's the Blue Star Memorial. And also, here's the mule. Which is cool. The mule. Um, I, I forgot what he's called. Um, he's called the mule, obviously. Here's the... The car center, I'm not gonna go in there until like maybe like maybe sometime in the video. It's actually a pretty nice day. Not gonna lie. Who's Barrett Station? This was originally the um the original entrance to the museum until um it got replaced by the other building. <laughs> Oh, and also this is closed for the um winter, but you got a good look at their um G scale layout, which they have. And we have um one train on the way out. It's gonna be opened up on in spring. They have this um Santa sleigh you can get right on, and which is pretty cool. My grandma's gonna take my picture. I'm gonna have to cut the video and put my phone down. Okay, grandma just took my picture on the sway. Here's um here's a bench. Here's um This is um This is the Barrett Station. We're showing we do renovating it, but if you get a glance inside of it. So right here is the um the place. Oh and also they have um a Mark Wynn steam engine. As you guys can see, there's only one train on the way out, and it doesn't work. Grandma, do you see it? The more, the German engine? There's a black German engine. Oh, I see it. You see the black one? Yeah, yeah it's a Weef engine. I believe it's an 060. Yep, there's an 060. I'm actually going to show them the, um, the old, um, 
You need an electric engine they have here. There's, um, in there, um, I really like this national museum. I really like the museum. If you guys are a rail fan or, or I definitely recommend you guys to come here because this is a big, like, the greatest museum I've ever, ever seen. I recommend you guys come here if you guys are in the St. Louis, Missouri area. Right? That's the first time you've seen it. Here's an 040. This is one of the smaller engines at the museum. On this side, it's um painted black, but on this side, it's rainbow, which is kind of cool. Also, I forgot to get on this in the last video, but there's this caboose. There used to be a sign that said National Museum of Transportation on this. Retention toilet. After the 19th is the railroad were required to install a type of track placing older ones where waste was dumped on the tracks. Ugh. Oh, Why no caboose? Oh, yeah. I've, it was a video of heist. Te definitely check it out. Here's the... Got a better look at the fan tail switcher. Looks pretty cool up here. Go on to the second caboose. Now, the heater fuel tank. What's this? Whoa. Oh, it's pipes. Heater fuel tank. Well, you can sit right here and look out the window. Fortunately, you can't see that well because the window's all fogged up. But yeah, this is um, another thing. Oil fire heater. Here's the cupola. Unfortunately, you can't get up in it. But I guess there are safety reasons. But... You can sit on this bed, but I'm not doing that. It's no time for a nap, and it's time to um actually do a video. Here's the, um, the cupola. Here's the, um, this right here. Green, off, red. This won't work, unfortunately, but yeah. You can turn on these. The flag, man. I don't want to read that for... Oh, here's, um, there's also here's this chemical tank car that you can walk through. There's the dome of it. Oh, also there's um, a WRS mechanical bell. Oh, now time to go back through. Okay. Now since we're out of the caboose, let's take a look, a look at uh, this um the O six O. Pretty cool. They have it here. Also, they have this um this um U.S. Army locomotive. It's um an oil oil gas turbine engine. It's not oil. It's gas turbine. Oh, also here's some. Um, Another caboose you can get up on. Here's another caboose you can get on. It's this time this is a different one. There's another cupola for you guys. This one I think is more um older than the other ones. Here's um a bell. I'm gonna try and throw. I'm not gonna throw a rock at it because am I damaging it? Here's um, a milk car you can actually get up on. It's a box car in disguise, which is cool. This is um, the milk gauge. It's the tank. That's the tank. And also here, there's the um, propeller things. That's an agitator thing for the milk. You can also, op look, you can open up this and see the, the tanks. Here's the tank. I'm gonna close this because, yeah, to there's some trolleys in that sh in the Abbott Building in that shed, also called the the Abbott Building for you guys. I'm also gonna get inside of that, but not right now. Whoa! I got.
guys, I just fell. I fell. I fell. Whoa! I can't see! Guys, my grandma just said a bad word. If any of you kids are watching, I'm sorry about that. And I don't know how and I don't know how to edit video, so I'm just gonna have to weave it in. Here's a car. A car thingamajig. This thing um is pretty cool. Which is it's pretty cool. Um, it's um a car. This would carry cars back in the days. Oh, not like here's the the giant, the the biggest tank car ever built, the whale belly. This thing, however, it was meant to pop petroleum, but then this thing never saw a revenue service. And then it was donated here at some point in its life's time. Here is um, a Salbine River, River and Northern engine. You can actually get inside of the engine. Guys, follow me, follow me, follow me. Guys, follow me. We're up. Now, welcome to the Salbine River Switcher. Oh my god. Here's um, a 2... 10 -0. Oh. Yep, it actually is a 210. -oh. Greg, what do you think? What do you think? Look, we're inside of an engine. Amazing. Wow. You can mess around with these controls, too. But this thing doesn't do anything because it's just a static display, which means it will not move. Well, and one point in, its, in these engines' wipes, they did move. Oh, my water's down there. Now, I gotta be happy. I gotta get down with my own risk. Because if I one slip and I'm done for. Ma Grandma, this is the secret shortcut. This is the secret shortcut. Here's, um... Frisco 1621. Now, also, this engine, this engine, sister engine, 1630, you can find it operational at the Illinois Railroad Museum. <gasps> train! The train! Guys, there's a train! Look! Yeah, look! Whoa! This yet I just opt turn on the wigwag. Do not do not touch it. I'm just gonna give him a sample of the bell. Hey Do not Don't touch it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I was actually hoping to see a train going by, and this is a dream come true. I can't even see a thing. It was 2156. 2156. This is everybody's favorite mallet steam engine. This one, I really like it. It's even power through the Powerful than the big and Union Pacific's big boys. Be careful crossing tracks. Our own equipment is in operation. Look at it! Oh, there's a Union Pacific engine. I, did you see it, you guys? I just saw a locomotive. Did, Grandma, did you see the engine? Yeah. You saw the locomotive. That is, this engine, this, this train is huge! Oh my gosh! This is crazy! Oh, how, when will this train even end? When will this train ever end? It's the train that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friend. When is this train gonna end? It's the train that doesn't end. It goes on and on, my friend. End already. Oh, 
there's the end. Union Pacific. Oh! Did you, did you, or, I can't believe it. Well, time to go inside the Abbott building, but we're gonna enter in the other side because um, we don't usually enter in this side though, because um, yeah. I also wanna ring the bell on this trolley. Because there's a bell right there, Grandma. Do you see it? There's a bell. Three, two. Oh, God. I think that's something that has wires on it. I think that's a... That's not what I think it is. I think it's not what I think it is. Hey, look. There's a horn right here. Yep, that is not a bell. That's definitely not a bell, my friend. Here's Iron Mountain Southern, a 10 we were off the Iron Mountain Southern. You could, this area back here is museum property, Grandma. You can go back here. Right here's an 060. This engine, this engine is an 060. This, um, this engine, um, is a Union Electric steam locomotive. It's a fireless engine, which means it doesn't require cool water. Well, anyways, let's go back in the Abbott building because I just wanted to show him that one. And we'll go back over there in a few seconds. Here's the, um, here's a PCC streetcar. This one, I believe, is a St. Louis Public Service. Yes, it is. Here's um, a trolley car. Not a trolley car, yeah. A subway car. Here's um, an electric engine, an Illinois electric engine. And also here's um, a hand, we see another hand car. Yes, they have two of these. They have chained, because that's chained down. Here's um, the town P. I don't know if that's how you actually say it, but I'm just guessing that's how you say it, town P. Try saying that five times fast. Here's um the Katie Flyer train. This is um a very awesome engine. Which is um this is a Chicago and Northwestern steam locomotive. It's a 440 American type. It's 274, which is cool. Among us, among us. Look, there's Among Us drawn on there. Here's um the MKT 311, also the Boston and Albany um, 440, um, the Eddie Clock. Oh, there she, oh, okay. Oh, there she is. MKT 311. The Katie. This engine's actually being restored to this glory days. Grandma, follow me. This, this area, we went back there and we didn't get yelled at, so um, this is where we're going, so everybody just follow me. Yep, here we are. Here's on my LRC bud car. I'm excited because I'm going to see an engine. This is a drop-down gondola. Oh, and also here's the, um, an oil-fired engine from the, um, I forgot, railroad, maybe um. Maybe in M of Baltimore, and Ohio. Some drop down bottom gondola, which is cool. I don't know if that thing drops or what, what the case is. <gasps> Here it comes. That's not it. It's um here's a point of switcher. I've never seen it this engine before. What? Why is what is that? Oh, wait a second. I think this is um, an FT unit. <gasps> Here it is! Number 7 South Park! My friend! Mom, this... I mean, Grandma, this is the engine I was looking for. It's number 7 South Park. This is the engine I was looking for. I'm taking this a big photo of this engine. Smile, smile. Smile big. 
He already smiled big, which is great. Wait a second, what is this? Hey, look, it's another one of those fellow drop-down gondolas. Up here's the old Union Electric steam locomotive. It's an 060. Something's on it. It says, um, what's the sun? I don't know what it says. It's all old and rusty. Nothing's wrong with being rusty. Oh, and also here's, um, GP9. One of the bigger engines at the museum. Wow! Grandma, look at the GP9. Look behind you. <laughs> did, I, did it scare you? Did it scare you? Greg, look behind you. <laughs> did it scare you? I don't know if it scared him. Hey, Grandma, look at this. Oh, no, this is what your mom told us. We were supposed to go back there. That's the sign she saw. But we came in the other way. So we were not aware of it. Ha ha! You've been outsmarted by by us. Mm -hmm. We were fine. We found the engine. Oh, here's the um streetcar number ten of St. Louis Waterworks. But we were still a museum property. We were still a museum property too. Grandma, we were still a museum property. I sent in me a friend. Yes, we were still a museum property. Guys, since we weren't aware about that, that sign, we're going to jail now. And now that we're aware of it. But we went for the other way, which means that was good. But we went in the other way, and there wasn't a sign for the other way, which was great. No, just be careful if there are electrical cords. Here's the, um, 2156, everybody's favorite mallet. This engine is in good, good cosmetic condition, but there's some patches of rust here and there. Here's this. 2156. Bull Folk and Western. Yeah. But this area we didn't get yelled at, so. Whoa! Ha! 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 I almost tripped. I like there's a like I was in a aware of that. I did not know that switch was there at one point. And then I accidentally tripped on the switch. When I did, I almost fell to the ground. So be careful when you're wa rocking on these tracks because these rail ties sometimes get you. Here is um the six axle, a beautiful six axle off of the U.S. Army. There was originally a camelback back here, but they're cosmetically restoring it too. And it's plus it's somewhere else. Up oh, here, oh, here she is. Here it is. This is on a U.S. Army engine. Guys, watch me. I'm about to ring the bell of it. Guys, watch. Free. Guys, I'm going to ring the bell. Okay, oh, God. Oh, God. Grandma, the, I, I, get, ring it, ring it, ring it, ring it, ring it, ring it. You go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, here's a railroad crane, which is cool. This thing looks American to me, but actually, it has buffers on it, which is weird. Now, here's Chicago and Northwestern 1015. This engine is um, a 440. 442 Atlantic. And they're cosmetically restoring it, which is cool. This is their progress on her. 
She's a beauty. Even when she's restored, she'll look even better. But for me, I kind of like her in this condition. Now here's an Italian State Railways engine, which is cool. It has buffers on it. This is where we heard the um, fans. Here's a switcher. Oh, and also here, right here, um, is the, um, what is it called? Robert's Pavilion. Robert's Pavilion. Now, Grandma, I'm gonna ring the bell for the tunner. Here's the tunner. We got a tunner switcher all the way back here. And I'm kinda sad we broke the wall, but we're not gonna talk about that before we get arrested and go and get a fine of over $100,000. I think I can. Oh, I think I can't ring the bell. No, just, you see the yellow thing? It makes it ring. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, stop ringing it. Okay, okay. Stop ringing it. Okay, here it is. Here's all the PCC. Tried to ring the bell of it, but actually, I, there was a the other bell. I was actually wrong on another. There was an actual bell, another bell on it, but Is there a bell up there? it's gone now. Or maybe last time I was just hallucination. Yeah, actually, there's an engine over here. Actually, come over here, you. No public. People on the side. Oh, also here's um, a 282, 280, I think it is. I'm sorry guys, I'm breaking the wall. Oh, do not hump, Grandma! <laughs> do not hump! Okay. Do not hump it. Here's a 2102, the only 2102 I've ever, ever seen. Two, three, ten. What is the middle wheels called? Driving wheels. Okay, reading wheels, driving wheels, and trailing wheels. This, this is a, tr this is um a weeding wheel. This is a, these are driving wheels, and this, and and this, this is the trailing wheel. Now, since you know what all of that. Now, since you know what what two ten two means, it also applies with other re real arrangements. But if there's no, but if there's no trailing wheels or um, if there's no trailing wheels. It's um, the O, the um, two, the two is replaced with an O. Here's them. Um, here's um, a gigantic box car. My day, I used to drive these engines. In your day, you used to drive them. I'm just joking. Oh God! Oh. Here's um the art train. Twenty one fifty six. Twenty one fifty six. Okay, let's go back around there so we can go in the other place. Over but there's a switcher. Do you, there's, you see that switcher back there? Yes. That green switcher? Yes. Hey, oh, yeah, there's a cone. Oh, there's a cone there. Crap. Guys, I just noticed that. There's a cone right there. Crap. We're going to about to go into the Roberts Pavilion. What's it called? Roberts Pavilion. This is what this building we're about to go. Oh, shoot. The building we're about to go inside is called the, um, the Abbott Building. But I'm sorry, classmates. This, I'm sorry about the, um, the bad word earlier. Oh, and also, he was the um, Missouri Pacific switching engine, what, which also known as um, an RS-3. Well, that one over there is a bell, which is nice. When I see an employee... I'm gonna tell him, can you ring the bell 1522? 
Here's the um, Missouri Pacific RS3. I'm not pulling that. I swear. That's that is underground piping. Oh, here's um. What was this thing called? What 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 are these engines called? Mo, these are called Mohawks, aka mountains. Because in New York they called these things um Mohawks. I'm about to be mosing into Robert's Pavilion. Sometimes I call this the Abbott Building on accident, but yeah. Here's here's um Santa Fe 5011. Come on, you guys, let's come over here. Here's um the Santa Fe 5011. You could get inside this engine and ring the bell. Hey guys, look, there's the original signs for when you could get inside the engine. Oh, that would be cool. But people were tearing it up and then they were like, you know what, just forget it. I think it's heated in here so we can take off our hats now. Hats off. Hats off. Hats off. Now we are now in Robert's Pavilion. Here's, here's 5011. Oh, there's tape on the dinger, by the way, when you could actually ring the bell of the engine. Here's um, the Daniel Nelson. He had the world's, the oldest surviving engine. The oldest surviving locomotive. Here's um, Erie Lackawanna, um, 19... 9.52, actually. Oh, no, there's this passenger car you can get on. Hi! Is the door locked? No, it's locked. You can't get inside of it. It's not open to the public. It's 5011. Mm -hmm. Why are you making those noises? I don't know if there's anybody here. Can... Where we were. Look, we were back that way. I My own. We came up the wrong way. <laughs> oh, and also he was an E8. Oh, and also there was an 080. Much better than the YNL one. It's, um, it's a, it's a beautiful beast. It's a beautiful beast. That's beast! Beast! That uh, echoes. Can anybody ring the bell of 50 or... Oh, fifteen twenty-two. We show them where the inside of this one. Um, come on, all aboard. The um, up oh, all aboard. Here's the back restroom. Suitcases, which you could pick up. You could sit right here and pretend you're riding on this. This train. Oh, here's the black diamond. Black diamond. Play cards like this, like this between each other. Play cards. Ah. Now this is the end of the coach. Unfortunately, not in. This is not an entrance, of course. As you guys can see, it's time to go backwards. Restoration donations. Do you have any? Can you, Grandma, look, you could put money in there. You can donate money so they could restore engines. Here's 1522. 1522, everybody's favorite mountain class. Also, there's the, um, the largest successful steam locomotive, Big Boy 4006. The, the world's largest engine. It's not as powerful as of, a, of all the others. Oh, here's Lackawanna. Here's the Lackawanna 440 Camel back. Oh, and also here's the um, a Berkshire. This is the only one in the museum. Here's the black diamond. There's um, actually there's white in the cab. This one it still has its original um, black. He was on an FT, quote unquote, the deal that did it. These started to dieselize American railroads back, way back that when. 
Now here's some Wabash, some 573. 573 is, um, I think it's a 260. I think it is. It was used to push what diesel was over a bridge because the bridge what, couldn't support diesel engines. Oh, and oh, and the one they didn't need it, they donated it here to the museum. And um, here's um, an FT. Actually, not an FT. I just called it an FT. This is, um, what is it called? I can't even talk. I'm a, a U-boat. I have one of these in HO. Oh, and also here is um, an observation car for the, um, off the, um, a bit, the, um, Missouri Pacific. Here's, um, a forney from the Chicago Elevated. This is, um, one of the, the smaller engines at the museum. It's pretty small. It's so tiddly and cute. Here's the, um, here's on a business car. You can step all on the deck. You can't get inside of it. It's scheduled for a field trip. Oh, and also here's a GS6. A GS6 from the, um, Southern Pacific. Look, there's a canoe under there. There sure is. I never noticed that. I guess they take the canoe when they want to go on the river. Now here's um a firebox. Oh, here's the um a Gulf Mobile observation car. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, and here's an office car. Oh, also there's an Alton and Southern engine behind this. Have you got? This one you can get a glance inside of it. Ding dun 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 da 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 I think we've stopped breaking. I'm scared. Here's 1522 again. Also, if you come close to this, the janky, listen. Listen. Do you hear that noise coming from the janky? Do you hear it? It's like a faint humming noise. Which is very great for analog signals here. You go out here to the right. The Can you ring the bell of 1522? Can you ring the bell of 1522? Can you ring the bell of 1522? Unfortunately, no. I can't let you guys up inside it. I mean, you could get inside of it if you want. Oh, you want me to ring it? Yeah. You know, I think that can be arranged. Thank you. I'll give you a few good rings. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited! I've never heard the bell of this engine! Yes! Free! Yes! I have it on video. Thank you! Thank you. Oh Wait, give him a minute to climb down. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was cool. You made our day. You have on YouTube, man. That was the best thing ever. Okay. Chesapeake in Ohio, 27, 27. This is a Berkshire. Berkshire. This engine is a Berkshire. Everybody, Berkshire. This is a Berkshire. 284, 284. It's 
only Berkshire at the museum. Well, it's also a Hudson, which is the only one in the museum. It's the oldest Hudson. I think it's the oldest preserved Hudson. Hunt for Oni. Oni is finding letters. Find the word RX. I don't need to use the bathroom. No. R. I'm signing an X. What does that say down there? Nickel crate road? Yep, nickel crate road. We're going to wait right here for him to I want to admire the big boy. The biggest engine. Oh, come on. Guys, here's this. You can take your picture of it. Submarine. Now it's going to take my picture of it. Here's Big Boy, 44, 4006, not 4014. There it is. Well, that would be epic. I don't know if I was recording when the bell was actually ringing on the 1522, but I think I was. Okay, time to time for the juicy stuff. Time to get up on the big boys cab. And those people on it. Which is cool. Like this is the biggest engine ever built. It's actually the largest successful steam engine. I'm coming up. Here's the tender. The corker screw. Here is the cab of the big boy. This is my favorite. Ah, my favorite part of the museum. The big boy. Hey, look at that. I found the bell of 1644, the centennial. Here are the, here the steam pressure gauges. Here are the, um, here's the, the firebox. My heart is still beating from when he rung the bell. I was just too excited. Ugh, one, two, three. I'm scared because if I fall, I'm done for. Here's the New Pacific Centennial 6944. You can actually ring the bell of it, which is nice. Was that nice? Greg. Greg, come over here. Greg, you see it? Bring it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Big boy, forty fourteen. I was forty oh six, not forty fourteen. If it was forty fourteen, Grandma would. <gasps> It says slow, it, Grandma. It says slow, and we're not slowing down. You all right? yeah. I can't believe if that we rung the bell, guys. I see a tender snow plow from the cotton belt. It's pretty unusual, but um, I don't know what, why they would have it, but why? on earth with the cotton belt need a snow plow like it just baffles me like you could have track it's through Illinois but it makes some sense but it's the St. Louis Southwestern snow south snow snow I can't even talk snow south St. Louis what what 
it's just great. Oh, and also here's the train of thought. It's an educational rail car. Oh, and also here's a Lackawanna diesel. I just made this video one hour long. Dun, 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 Whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is a big video. I might not be able to even upload it to YouTube. But I've made a video that's one hour long. I'm gonna talk one hour long. This is there any specific piece of equipment you want to look at or anything that's anything else you want to know about? Well, okay. that's I'm basically fine. I'm fine. I'm all, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, hanging out. Me too. I think that could have been. Wait a second. Is that who I think I just heard? Is that CNW Texas? I who knows? It could have been him. It could have been him. It could have been him. Well, here's the wig wag. Quack, I got it on my phone, I'll give it to you. What? Too bad. Oh, okay. Whoa! The wind's picking up a lot. I love this place. Frank, I really like how he rung the bell for me. That could have been who I thought it would be. If that was you, CNW 1015, if that was actually you volunteering from the museum, thank you for, thank you. Thank you so much for bringing the bell from 1522. Oh, and also here's um, 1621 again. They beautifully restored it. Oh, and this one's also in good condition. The um, 551, it's a US, a um, Mercado, I believe it is. Um, this engine, I I don't remember, but it's just it just kept on building, building engines, and it worked. Here's the silver charger. Them, a few of the surviving engines off the um, silver charger. Silver charger. If you, you guys are wondering. <laughs> Every type of switching. Oh, and also, here is um, a single that you can operate. Red, blue, I think that's white. Yellow, green, then. I. Oh, yep, all of them. All of them. I just turned them all of them. I have one dome and a single dome. Three dome and a single dome. I was gonna take a picture of them 1522, but I didn't have actually time to do it. I was just too afraid to ask how he feels them. NW 1015, the actual YouTuber. Oh, here's a, a boxcar, a Milwaukee boxcar. Good morning. Hey, are you Patrice? downtown? Downtown. Ooh, that is a terrible shape. Okay, let's go on to the bells. Thank you. Train bell. Diesel locomotive bell. Yo. I, uh, 
Ship bell. Hello? I just took a photo. Oh, also there's a railroad crossing. I want to actually show you the crossing. It has a wishbone gate. Grandma, I'm going to show them the, this crossing they have here. Guys, I, I thought I just fell, buddy, buddy. This is Brennan Speeds. So you have these um, walking road, old box car and a Burlington Northern caboose. Now here's the railroad crossing. Yes. Everybody's favorite. It has um no base at all, which is weird. Your dad wants me to take a picture when we leave here of you leaving. So you know, I'll right take a picture of you guys together. All right, here's um it has a WRS gate mechanism, um, a, a Raykel bracket, some safe tran incandescents. I think they're incandescents. It looks like it. Some free track, a buckeye, free, a cat eye, free track sign, and um, a WRS bell. I'm going. Whoa, plane! And now we're gonna go over there where the Raquid Christie is. No, I wanna see Raquid Raquid Christie. Thirteen twenty-two. I like that bell ringing. Oh, oh! Now all the cars are back in here. Cars are back. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're here. Watching by the Hmm. It was a 1957 Metro Popperin car. Also, I, this thing, I forgot what it is. It's the first electric car. This thing has a ton of batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight batteries. Oh, this is the Coral Court. No tell model. It doesn't does it actually have an interior hotel. Vacancy. No vacancy, okay. Looks like it's air conditioned. Also they have this fruit truck. Excuse me. So they have this um so right here's um, um a milk car. Actually this is a milk car. And this has some motorbikes right here too. So this Ford car which has a crank on it. This is the Stanley steamer car. Which means it runs off steam. Also, this is the um, Principal Car, which so sore car. 
66 driving. The delicious treat is a refreshment center. Oh, oh, excuse me. Okay, also they have 19,000s and then 2010s. No. So they have this giant power motor. Also, here's another Chevy. I saw really cool stuff on um, Beagle scooter bike. I will be all. Also, they have the um, Fiero of the White Zap Hop. I saw this car too. It's a Ford. I saw um, one of these cars. It's like the tires are flat on it. And here's some. Um, a turbine car. As the story goes, look at the motel. I want to actually. Oh, there's actually stuff in the motel. Pretty cool. You know, in this motel, it was actually on Highway 66, which is now Watson Road. I was in it. Wait a second, it was moved here. Mm -hmm. Before it was moved here. We're going up these stairs. Also, you can go come up the stairs. I also have these cars from movies, such as the DeLorean. Yes, music and Don scene music. Watson was Highway six, was Route sixty six. Oh, here's Doc Martin's dream car. I think that's what his name is. A Barbie doll. Bobby. Bobby Darren's. Oh, and also here's the, um, this car, which is pretty cool. This is an um, older style car than what we just saw this today. Moon Bros carriage car. This is a big car. Does they have the doubles and the um, moon? What else do they have this? Also another moon. Oh, and also the farting bike. <laughs> the mobile gas pump too. They also have this um, be nice um, So this thing right here. Okay, time to go back out to the cold. I'm, oh my god, Grandma, I bet I am cold. Let me wait the gate. No. Oh, actually, there's a gate right there. There's an opening where we can go. The Transport Museum Association. This used to be the main parking lot. Barrett Station used to be the original parking spot. Pace. Main entrance until that center was built. But either way, you could still come through here. Park here, but and this is only for car shows. Also, here's the... Um, um, the mule. Also, they 
have the bookmobile. They fought. I thought they dis disappeared, but I'm glad it's still in the museum's collection. We're also use the 551 again. Okay. Let's let's fast forward to the Laqueed Crispy. Jog, 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 Joe, Joe, go, 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 jog, 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 jog. Epic trans, epic, epic translation in three, two, one. Well, hey, to a Creed Christy. This thing was also. It was a mail for the Queen Chrissy Quay. Okay, Grandma got. Oh, oh my God! Okay, she's ringing the bell. Yep, that's enough. Now I wanna get inside of the engine. So here's the inside of the Creed Christy. You can open up the firebox. Plus, you can also ring the bell of of her Creed Christy. the engine once again and watch the bell ring all right go ring it for me hey, okay that's enough oh hold on now this could be like this but now let's get back to what we were doing. Now here's um, a singer right here. That's a good ring. The two drop bell actually ring. Oh yeah, I just... I can't. I've never heard a tear drop bell ever ring in real life, but I've seen videos of those ringings. I know what they are. So this crossing has um. WRS gate mechanism, a wishbone, um, some US nest lights, incandescence, you a bracket, and also a, a racket made by US nest, not US nest, um, what is it called again? I forgot. Um, I think some safe train gate lights and a US nest teardrop bell. Here's the topo. And then after this, we're gonna weave and then we're gonna. End the video. Stop! Ship helm. This is a shell. shell. This is a wheel of the ship. Also, they have this. Woo, you got a compass. Okay, let's get on the towboat. Now, everybody, watch your step. It's kind of a little bit dangerous up here. I so you can get a glance inside of it. You can't get inside of it, unfortunately, but there's the motor. Oh, hey. There's, now there's one more area that you can... Get up on. Oh, no, so here's the stack. Can't get up top of there. But I guess there are safety reasons about that choice. That's what I believe. That guy who rung the bell for the end of that, um, 1522, I watched this guy called him um, CNW1015. 
And that guy could have been him. He could have. It could have been him. The that YouTuber. Excuse me. 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 I'll tell them to come down. Those were Creed Christie. Creed Christie. It's an 040. I kind of want to tell you the story of it. For all of you guys who were wondering about what the what Creed Christie is. And um, the name... And also, here's the story of Laqueed Christie, the origin of Laqueed Christie. Why it was here today? Who donated it? I don't know who donated it, but we're gonna read the plaque and I'll tell you the story. So, Laqueed Christie, Clay Products Company Number Two, is an aero gauge oil, cool burning tank engine owned and operated by the Laqueed Christie Clay Products. In the company of in St. Louis, Missouri. Creed Christie is a merger of the Creed Fire Brick Manufacturer and Christie Fire Clay. Um, I'm not going to read that all the way, but here she is. Oh, wow. Stuff in there. Might be able to throw a rocket. For, okay. Okay. This is the throttle. It makes it go. Guys, look! Guys, look! Hey! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Now, time to ring the bell. We're clean! Okay, Grandma, I'm going to go to the very front of the engine. You're going to ring the bell. Okay, look, Reed, Christy, no, we're 2040. Go! Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Now there's one, one more bell they have at the museum, and it's a pretty large bell. Does that bother you? And it's a, like possibly the biggest bell, bell you've ever seen. Yeah. Somebody else is ringing the bell. Okay, ring it. Ring it. Ring, ring it. Ring it! Now let's go! Let's go a little bit. Hey, look, I just noticed that. There's a, they have a semaphore here. They, the semaphore is um, the older style of railroad singles. Guys, I don't know what it was, but I just jostled and like my, my back just started hurting. I think it's time for us to head. Roll, roll out. I'm gonna ring this giant bell, and then we'll be over and out. Ooh, never seen these things before. These are some. There's 552, obviously. What engine is this? What are these? Ooh. Pitman Arms. From the SS Amonor. As SS. Pitman Arms are used to transfer power from engines that paddle wheels, steamboats, and operating connecting rods. Now, Grandma, do you see this giant bell? Let's go do it. I'm gonna ring it. Now, Grandma, you have to ring it, and I'm gonna stand far back 
so it literally doesn't obliterate the speakers. But I'm gonna wing it, ring it quietly. First, I'm gonna give it one ding. What? It's not obliterating my speakers. Let's go. Now basically that was it for today's video. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. Now, over and out.